I'm Naisha McCauley, and you're watching AccessTV.org. Welcome to the Grassroots Business Journal on AccessTV.org, where small business links to social media. I'm your host, Paul Willis, and my guest here this morning is Jacob Galazzo from the Department of Economic and Community Development for the State of Connecticut. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Paul. It's a pleasure to be here this morning. Great. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about just some basic background uh, as to the agency uh, that you're the executive director of? Sure. I'm, I am the executive director of business development within the DC, DECD, or Department of Economic and Community Development. And um, my area focuses essentially on, on business retention and, and growth. So what I mean by that is we're basically, in a nutshell, focused on keeping the jobs we have in Connecticut and adding to them. Okay. What aspects of the program are either different today than, what, than, than in previous uh, administrations or previous times that you see have been more effective? Well, I would say that DCD certainly has been around for some time as a state agency. Um, I think the level of activity over the last couple of years under the Malay administration um, has really increased quite a bit. Um, and if you look at the, the number of new programs, and we're gonna, I know we're going to talk about some of the new programs shortly, uh, but programs like Small Business Express. Okay. Um, and, and you look at the funding of programs that have been uh, around for some time, the increase in funding for those programs has been substantial. And so we, for example, in my area, are, are averaging over a business deal a day. Um, working with uh, small businesses, but not only small businesses, also medium-sized and even larger companies. Can you tell our audience the definitions between small, medium, and maybe large business that, that they may not be associated with? Sure. Uh, and the definition of small business will vary by organization in many respects. For purposes of our program, small businesses generally fall into the category of 100 or fewer employees. Okay. Um, when you're talking about other programs, federal programs, SBA programs, or, or uh, at times they'll, they'll use 500 as a number. Okay. Um, or different surveys may use 250 as a number for, for sort of the cutoff. Okay. But for our programs, they're generally 100 or fewer employees, which still captures a lot of, a lot of companies in Connecticut. What have you found since you've been executive director of this to as far as your successes that you've seen? Well, I've been in this role for about a year and a half. And I would say over that time frame, um, we've impacted on the small business side uh, prox over 12,000 jobs, actually. Wow. Um, when you look at commitments that companies have made to retain jobs and then grow jobs or, or hire new folks, that's substantial. And so at the sort of larger level, that's very rewarding. Okay. Um, at the same time, there are also specific situations where companies will follow up after a deal and send sort of a personalized note, whether it's an email or a letter, uh, basically thanking us uh, for, for the support because it's made such a difference. So it's, it's routine for us to get a correspondence from a business owner who may have struggled to get funding for some period of time came to us and we were able to help them, let's say, with a matching grant or with a low interest loan. And to see that company take advantage of the program um, and grow their business and hire folks is extremely satisfying okay. you know, from our standpoint. The state has been going through a process of uh, businesses leaving. Um, what have you done differently inside the agency to help retain and keep businesses here in the state? Well, I think part of it is just as basic as letting businesses know that, that um, we care about having them here. Um, our, we've significantly increased our outreach efforts. We meet with companies every day. We tell them that having them here is important to us, um, but not only in sort of in word, but also in deed. Okay. Um, so 
the general discussion will be, hey, you've been here, let's say, for the last 10 years, um, and we value your business. And at the same time, were you aware that we are now offering these programs? Okay. Um, and when we go through those programs, I'd say in many cases, we tend to raise a lot of eyebrows. Okay. And c whether it's a CEO of a larger company or a business owner for a small company, they tend to be pretty pleasantly surprised when we go through and talk about financial incentives that can help their business. And of course, business people talk. Okay. So they then, after coming to us and, and getting financial assistance, will talk to other, you know, we'll talk to other business owners who in turn talk to other business owners. Okay. And so we're finding more and more sort of referrals and word of mouth um, applicants coming to us and saying, hey, uh, heard of some really good stuff going on here okay. in Connecticut and like to learn more. At the same time, we're also um, fielding some calls from folks out of state who mm -hmm. are more and more getting the word that Connecticut is an excellent place to do business. They're starting to hear about not only our financial incentives, but that sort of opens up the door to our being able to talk about other aspects of the state, which is our highly educated workforce as an example. Okay. Um, okay. So that's been, that builds sort of a nice momentum. So how has your agency been able to get the word out? Well, we go through a variety of different means. Um, we, we uh, for example, um, undergo numerous initiatives that are sort of feet on the street, right? Okay. So, so we will go on tours. Um, we will literally crisscross the state mm -hmm. and, um, and, do, and do information sessions where okay. we'll get up and go through our various programs. Um, we will talk about um, not only at a high level what we offer, but we'll also sit down with companies individually right after the sessions and say, tell us a little bit about your business. Um, where, where might you need some help? And then we could talk to them about that help, whether it's financial assistance or technical assistance. So that's one of the ways that we do. But we also take advantage, we also take advantage of, of um, our website. Okay. Um, so folks, for example, that go to our website at decd.org would see Small Business Express prominently displayed in the center okay. you know, on our webpage. Uh, we also work with partners. Uh, so a, a good example there is, uh, you know, we work with Sam Hamilton at Headco here in Hartford. Um, but we work with partners across the state to get the word out, um, not only sort of financial lender partners, but also uh, folks that, uh, other organizations that help with technical assistance, okay. uh, small business development centers, um, the Connecticut Center for Advanced Technology uh, as an example or some other ones where they're, they're all sending the message as well. We also work with Chambers of Commerce. Mm -hmm. we'll, do, we'll also do presentations at, you know, at their board meetings or at their membership meetings. Okay, okay. How has been the response from the business community? Well, quite honestly, I guess in a word I would say it's been tremendous um, when you look at it sort of overall okay. uh, from an aggregate standpoint. Um, when you look at Small Business Express as an example, I mean, we've had literally thousands of applications uh, in less than two years. Um, so that's, that's, that tells us that the word is definitely getting out there. Okay. Now having said that, we also see that there are opportunities for us to do additional work in terms of outreach to, to women-owned businesses, to minority-owned businesses, which more recently we've, t we've started to, to undertake. Um, in fact, we're going to talk a little bit more about a session uh, coming up on November 12th okay. uh, we're, uh, here in Hartford. Um, at Vibes Uptown where we'll be speaking to a variety of Hartford-based businesses. Uh, it's a free session uh, open to all business owners, um, to all business people, where we'll go through and actually talk about our programs and work with business owners. And just very briefly, because I know we'll get into it in, mm -hmm. a, in another segment here, uh, what are some of the programs uh, that you do offer for small businesses? For small businesses, the, <clears throat> the major programs that we offer are Small Business Express, mm -hmm. and Small Business Express is essentially a, a program that offers three different components. One is a matching grant component, um, and there are, top, there are a couple of different loan uh, programs as well. Okay. So they're generally uh, low interest loans. On the matching grant side, it can be anywhere from ten dollars to $100,000 in a matching grant. Uh, the loans, depending upon which loan you go with, can go as high as $300,000. So between those two mm -hmm. components, <clears throat> a company can actually receive as high as $400,000 in financial assistance depending upon 
uh, what it is that they need the money for, mm -hmm. um, how, many, how many employees they plan to hire, and what sort of what we call their project looks like, meaning what are they going to invest in, okay. capital investment, working capital, and the like. So that's, that's been a program that's been just tremendously received. But we also have some other, some other programs. So uh, through the Department of Labor, there's a program called uh, Step Up, okay. which actually provides uh, subsidies for hiring and, and training grants. And so this, this program uh, allows companies to, as they take on new employees, uh, it subsidizes a portion of their salary okay. during a ramp up period where they're getting trained. Yeah. Um, so for, for companies that are looking to hire um, previously unemployed people, um, this works very well. And it's actually a, a, even a specific component that applies to, uh, to veterans where the definition of sort of, you know, the small business definition is actually even waived and it can be a company of any size. Is this unique to Connecticut? I would say yes. I mean, I have the pleasure of, of at times, uh, traveling and talking to consultants, brokers, uh, what we call site selectors okay. from across the country, people who help businesses locate their either corporate headquarters or their operations. And so I've had the, the opportunity to sit down with them and tell them what we're doing here in Connecticut. And they're just amazed. Mm -hmm. um, they, they are familiar with and accustomed to sort of general tax incentive programs you know, that states have offered historically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but when we, look at, when we look at programs like Small Business Express, they say, wow, I've never seen anything like this, and this, this is quite exciting. And that's, that's helpful for us in a couple different regards. One is um, it sort of reinforces for companies that are here okay. that, that we have programs like this. But then also it, it sort of captures the attention of companies who are outside of the state uh, who may want to come to Connecticut. Okay. Um, and, and we, I, I've had uh, the personal experience of working with some companies located outside our borders um, who are sort of considering Connecticut. They may have had some ties to Connecticut in the mm -hmm. past um, who are sort of considering it but weren't thinking about it too seriously. And then we took them through you know, the types of packages that we have and they're, and they're now on their way to coming to Connecticut. Some have actually already relocated. Okay. So that's been, that's been quite a success. Great. What has been um, the agency's um, concern in regards to um, the municipalities mm -hmm. and to um, urban employment or within the small businesses areas or allowing for small businesses to grow within the municipalities? Well, what, one of the things that we've been sure to do is to, um, is to make sure that we offer the program throughout the state, right? So in many regards, we're working with municipal officials okay. um, to, promote, to promote the program to their area businesses. In fact, we've gone so far as to say to, uh, to town officials, um, hey, look, if, if ever you have a group of folks that, um, that you think are interested in learning more about the program, Give us a call and we'll be out there. Uh, you okay. know, and sometimes as, as short as notice as a couple of days, we've been out there conducting an informational session. Okay. So we see the, muni the municipalities as our as our partners. Okay. Um, and so and so that's been very helpful. We've also made it a point, obviously, to to make sure that we're covering uh, places where there are the urban spots where there's, the population is higher, uh, where you also tend to have um, higher minority populations. Okay. Um, so, you know, we've done a lot of deals in Hartford County, a lot of deals in Hartford specifically. Um, we've been active in Bridgeport and Danbury and Waterbury and Stanford. Um, but we haven't done it to the exclusion of the smaller towns. Okay. So we'll, we'll go out and visit with anyone that has a group of folks that want to learn more about, about the session. And in some cases, um, you know, if it's been quiet in a certain part of the state, we'll even go a step further and say, hey, you know, we, we want to come to your area and do an information session. Good, good. Well, once again, our time is up for today uh, for this particular segment. Uh, my guest today has been Jacob Galazzo, for the economic, uh, Department of Economic and Community Development for the state of Connecticut. Uh, it's been a pleasure having you on the program. The pleasure is all mine. Very good. And again, those who are interested in making comments, 
uh, please you can uh, email me at uh, pcwillis at gmail.com or call me at 860-490-8856. Again, until next time, let's keep the talk about business. This has been Paul Willis, your host for the Grassroots Business Journal, accesstv.org. Have a good day.